Mm -hmm. See me in that way as well, and then have that expectation when I walk into a room. And there is no expectation for me to change myself uh, in a way that I think there might have been in the beginning. On this episode of Another Act, I'm talking with Zazie Beats about FX's hit series Atlanta, the highly anticipated spaghetti western, The Harder They Fall, and why her hair plays a part in every character she brings to life. Oh, I love, love, love seeing what's happened to you and where your career has gone in the aftermath of, yeah. of Atlanta. You're welcome. Walk me back to your life after maybe that first season. You had the visibility. What were you immediately looking for um, out of your career? Uh, ooh, that's a big question. Uh, <laughs> what was I immediately looking for? Um, I... I honestly, I was just hoping to make um, interesting stories about humans that are complicated and, um, you know, I think, I think just explore all elements of humanity. I mean, obvious, not obviously, but I, I really enjoy like a good drama film, you know, I don't know, There Will Be Blood or something along those lines. And, um, you know, so I'm, I would love to kind of get into like the nitty gritty of human psychology and, um, and the state of being alive, <laughs> I guess. So that's what I, I'm hoping for my career, but I'm also like playing and doing other things as well. You know, one thing that that always, I think, stands out to me when I see you in another film um, is your hair. And it feels oh. important to me. It feels like it's a choice that you say, I, I'm bringing... I'm bringing this to to this role as well, and I and I love to see it. And I know that other Black women are seeing it and probably imagining what what conversations might have been taking place behind the scenes. Tell me a little bit about that because that doesn't feel like happenstance. It feels like maybe you're intentionally saying, "I'm I'm bringing this <clears throat> to this to this character too." It's interesting because I think it's um, it. It's, I think, a mix of different things. Um, when I was first auditioning and, you know, had no kind of traction in anything <clears throat> of what I was doing, I remember my hair specifically was kind of a battle and figuring out, like, how to present it in a way that um, I guess felt palatable to like, like a network audience or, you know, or something like that, right. For like the sort of the, the shows you're, you're going out for. And I remember also being told to kind of do that. And after a while, you know, I, I didn't grow up, um, straightening my hair. So I was just never really comfortable with that. So I just kind of initially just sort of try to pull it back or make it smaller. And after a while I was like, I can't really be doing this. <laughs> and I just, you know, I, I just didn't want to really be fighting my hair or myself anymore. And so I, I kind of stopped doing that. <laughs> and then I started just, I started getting cast for as I was and what I was. And um, I think that that <clears throat> sort of initial sort of motion of I think like betting on myself and um, just saying this is who I am and this is how I'm going to present myself allowed for as other opportunities have presented themselves for people to see me in that way as well and then have that expectation when I walk into a room and there is no expectation for me to change myself uh, in a way that I think there might have been in the beginning. You know, one of the things that I, I love so much about The Harder They Fall, um, obviously, is the female representation. The women in this movie are not accessories, and your scenes with Regina King were amongst my favorites. Oh. What was that like shooting with her and bringing these women back to life? Yeah, I mean, Regina is just iconic. 
feel like we actually really created a wonderful bond, particularly while we were shooting sort of our our big kind of like our big scene, I suppose. Um, I don't really know what I can reveal or not, but. Um, right, it's so hard, it's so hard. But everybody <laughs> um, just watch it, cause it's good. <laughs> it's good, it's good, on Netflix. <laughs> um, but you know, we had this larger scene that we had to <clears throat> spend a lot of time um, rehearsing together and working on together. And it really felt like this, I don't know, this very, I wanna say this kind of like this girl power thing um, where we really, we came together, we really wanted to spend time rehearsing and spend time working through it. And throughout the film, I, I kind of felt like she sort of took me under her wing and, you know, we have had a really lovely relationship after shooting as well. And I just feel very, I felt so taken care of by her and also just, She's a really grounding, calming presence on set, but like takes up her room and like makes sure everybody's good. And there's just something really powerful, I think, about how she functions on a set. So it was just a joy working with her. Um, and then also, I think, you know, the idea of bringing all these names into the collective consciousness uh, was really important to me. And I mean, I know you've seen the film, and so you know it's it's a very fictional piece and like it's not really historically adjacent to the lives of these people, but it is addressing that these people existed. And I know James, our director, he was really like, I felt like I wanted to bring all these people together, like an Avengers superhero movie and like do the best of real. And like, what would they do if they all came together? What would that story look like? And I think, um, you know, I think his vision came through in that. And so that was like a fun, you know, felt like sort of doing a superhero movie in a way with these sort of iconic names. Yeah, no, I mean, that's one of the things that I love is that we know that we existed, yeah. <laughs> you know, during this time, but but very seldom do, do we see that representation. Um, in fact, I think the last time was probably posse which was so many years ago and and even when that film came out it was like oh did we did we exist yeah. in, the, in the wild west yeah. was that a thing and this felt great i can imagine that you probably hadn't gotten a script like this uh put in front of you but what were your immediate thoughts when when it came to you and that this was a project uh, that they wanted uh, to work with you on yeah my immediate thoughts um you know i after reading the script i I kind of, I, I looked into sort of Western, you know, life and also looking into sort of the statistics around uh, how many, um, you know, Black people were living sort of in the West during that time. And it was around 25%, which is a huge number. And I don't think people really realize, um, yes, we were obviously around, but that we were really we had communities, we had towns that were all black people and we were th thriving in our own way. We were kind of, there was less of this sort of established sort of United States culture in the West. And so we had a little bit more autonomy. And so a lot of like emancipated um, individuals moved there and started businesses and, and um, were able to, you know, find independence in a way that they couldn't really on the other coast. And I just thought that was like, is that was really empowering for me to learn, particularly as I was reading, you know, beyond just the stories of the characters in the film, um, but just other people who, who moved out West. Yeah. I mean, I feel like one thing that people um, just cannot get over and they haven't even seen the film yet is, is the cast. I mean, the cast, is amazing and probably one of the most impressive uh, assemblies of talent I've seen. What are you taking away from this experience that will stay with you on future projects? Um, I think, I think working with James, I mean, working with this cast, you know, I failed to mention that in our last question, but um, most of the cast was already attached by the time I was called. And I just felt like it would be such a lost opportunity to not get to meet with these people that I've admired for years. I mean, Regina Idris, and then also to like work with Lakeith again. And, and, um, 
and meeting new new people that you know hopefully I get to join in other projects has been just a wonderful um that was like a wonderful thing to just to be kind of amongst these icons I suppose oh I love that mm. now the big question what's next for you what can you tell us about <laughs> <laughs> um goodness I um currently shooting Atlanta yes um, Atlanta we're doing <laughs> season four we're almost done no. where I'm almost done they still got a little bit to go but I, I'm almost done and um so that's coming out sort of top of next year I don't have a date really but um that's coming out which I'm really excited about and it was just nice to like you know get the gang back together again and then beyond that honestly I'm kind of like developing some of my own things which again is I think sort of leaning into this idea of creativity and that like I can be empowered enough to sort of try to make my own content and to make things that I'm interested in seeing and being in. And that was initially very scary for me, but I um, have been really feeling very like with every step that I take in that direction, I feel like, wow, this really is something that is fun and makes me feel really strong. And so I'm leaning into that. So maybe some of those things will happen next year. But honestly, after Atlanta, as of now, I don't have anything lined up. So we'll see. <laughs> Listen, you had us at Atlanta. Uh, and and the harder they fall. Thank you so much for doing this today. Appreciate yeah, you appreciate so much. Talking Continue success. You.